Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we're going to look at looping a wiggle. You probably learned a wiggle expression early in your After Effects career, but there can certainly be difficulties in making the wiggle loop. To do that, we have to create an expression. In fact, we're going to create two wiggle expressions and switch between them by using a linear expression. To start here, we have a shape layer, and we'll need to set an expression on the position property. So we all click or option click on the stopwatch, and first we'll have to set our variables. We need a variable for frequency, amplitude, and duration. Now we can abbreviate these for a variable name, but remember that frequency is the wiggles per second, amplitude is the amount of pixels moved or wiggled, and duration is our loop time in seconds. So you can choose whatever values you want, but I've gone with these. And next we're going to have to make two wiggle variables and set them equal to wiggle expressions. Now you may know that the wiggle usually has two values in parentheses, the frequency and amplitude, but wiggle can have up to five values in parentheses. I've written it out here for you. Those five values can be frequency, amplitude, octaves, multiple, and time. Octaves is the octaves of noise value, which is the complexity of the wiggle path. The multiple is the strength of those octaves, and the time acts as a type of time offset. So we need a variable for this time value, not only for both of these wiggle expressions we're about to make, but also for the final linear expression. So we can make a variable called t and set it equal to time, percent sign, and our duration variable. Now the percent sign acts as a remainder operator. It returns the remainder left over when one operand is divided by another. So now with these variables set, we can now make variables for our wiggle one and wiggle two. Remember, we're making two wiggle expressions, and then we'll use a linear expression later on to switch between them. So our first variable can be wiggle one, and we'll set it equal to our wiggle expression with our five values. We already have a variable name for frequency and amplitude, and then we need the rest of our attributes. So I'm going to go with two for the octave, one for the multiple, and then of course our t variable for time. We're going to make our second wiggle expression, and this can be the same as our previous wiggle expression, except we're going to change the fifth value, our t, and subtract our duration. We tie it all together with linear expression, as seen here that includes a variable, a variable min and max, and then a value one and two that it relates to. So in our case, we'll type out linear. Our variable is going to be t. Our min will be zero. Our max will be our duration, which is a variable we've already set. And our value one and our value two will be our wiggle one and two. And as we play this, you can see that the expression is looping at our chosen duration of two seconds. As you can see, this action is repeating. Change the values as needed, but here's an expression to make your loop wiggle. Thank you.